Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Naruto to explain here. Bringing you guys another Boruto Naruto Next Generation discussion on the fallout from Boruto Chapter 79. And today, I want to talk about something I've seen a lot of you guys ask, which is now that Naruto's been sealed away by Kawaki and is likely going to be sealed away for a very long period of time, which many fans believe will probably be until the final battles take place against someone as overpowered as Shiba Otsutsuki. And a ton of you guys have asked what will Naruto do now that he's in dimension shut off from the rest of the world itself and the most common thing that i've seen is that naruto is about to likely start training now before we get 100 comments about how this is boruto's story and naruto isn't going to grow any stronger this is why i say for the 100th time we have to pump the brakes i think every fan if they're being honest with themselves sees what's written on the wall boruto is going to surpass naruto He's going to eventually surpass Baryon mode Naruto at some point in the story as well now that Shinjutsu's been introduced into the series and we likely have a conflict with Shiba Otsutsuki coming if we continue to follow elements of Samurai 8 being added to the story itself. Anyone who doesn't see Boruto surpassing his teacher Sasuke and his father Naruto, they're deluding themselves. We're eventually going to start breaking past that Jigen level of power. The fact that the bar right now has been set at weaker than Ishiki but stronger than Jigen, that's absolutely telling. That ceiling is eventually going to be raised. Remember how in Naruto being a Jonin level of power was seen as impressive or Kage level power was impressive by the end of the series? We started getting into God territory, just saying. However, as I've often said here on the channel, going as far back as when Baryon Mode was revealed to have robbed Naruto the power of the Nine Tails, Naruto and Sasuke are now in that same place that Kakashi and Guy and Tsunade were in back in Naruto. Naruto's manga. Each of those characters, when you read the manga, they progressively got stronger as the series itself went on. And as Naruto got stronger, guess what? So too did those other characters. And we began to see them start displaying more of their full power in more impressive manners as Naruto got stronger. Case in point, you can look at the battles in late Shippuden versus the battles in early Naruto, or even any of the battles in Shippuden versus anything that happened in Naruto Part 1. You see the older characters are performing more impressive feats. Kakashi he went from barely being able to use his Sharingan for an extended period of time using only a handful of jutsu before you had to tap out to when you get to the second part of Naruto's manga being able to use the Mangekyo which eats up more chakra and as each arc went on his ability to use the Kamui it sped up significantly with each arc and eventually his chakra grew to a level high enough we saw his chakra reserves grow to the point where we had war Kakashi which is flat out insane because he had chakra for Mangekyo and chakra to keep his stamina going non-stop for fighting even before he got his taste of Naruto's chakra. And when he was using Kamui, it was almost instantaneously. There was no prolonged buildup like what we saw in early Shippuden when he tried to use against Daedara. Might Guy went from being stated to be stronger than Kakashi in part one to in early part two in the manga, he needed the sixth gate to take out a Kisame clone at 30% chakra, which happened after Neji free Team Guy in the manga to a year later of passing in the manga Mike Guy was able to body a fully powered Kisame with the 7th gate and he was stalemating with the 6th gate Tsunade went from in base tangling with Kabuto who Orochimaru said was on par with Kakashi forcing him to consume food pills in the process in order to keep up with Tsunade to using creation rebirth to push back Orochimaru to the walk Tsunade being able to fully unleash her Byakugo with it being stated that she was now the strongest of the five kage and one punch was able to crack renegon madara susano and and one fully powered kick was enough to shatter it so we've seen characters that are in the support role level up and display more power as the main roster characters were growing more power for themselves the pattern is very likely be repeated in boards as well seeing naruto return in that final arc and be strong enough to serve in a assist role like the edo tensei hokage did in the final battles with the ten tails and jubi obito and jubi madara that's it's not the craziest outcome when you think about it. So what exactly can Naruto improve on in that dimension? There's actually quite a lot that can be done. Being in a place where time doesn't stop means he won't ever grow old. Some people have taken Kawaki's words and likened it to Naruto basically being in his miniature room of spirit and time like you had in Dragon Ball where a full year in the time chamber equated to one day passing in the real world. If Naruto were able to take advantage of being in that time chamber to work on his ninjutsu arsenal, there's a huge 
huge benefit that comes from that. Chakra can be increased through the combination of physical training for Yang Chakra and meditation for Yin Chakra. If Naruto starts taking the time out to enter into deep meditation to push the limits of his sage mode, there's a lot that could be of use later on. His body, it might have lost Karamo, but that body has already experienced what Six Pass Sage Mode is able to do. With normal sage mode, the body has to balance out nature energy that one draws in with their own chakras in order to get that perfect balance of yang chakra, yin chakra, and nature energy. Six Pass Sage Mode, on the other hand, outright bypasses those restrictions, allowing the user to draw in a nearly unlimited amount of nature energy without the need to balance out their own chakra, which is part of the reason why there are no orange pigment rings beneath the eyebrows when Six Pass Sage Mode is used. Which, as a reminder, that's not what Naruto is using when he confronted Nagato. Naruto, when he confronted Nagato, still had those orange pigment rings. At one point, we literally saw Naruto draw on all the nature energy in the area for Six Pass Sage Mode during the battle against Sasuke where they had that angel's arrow clash and they made that giant cataclysmic event. Naruto has tasted being able to use that enormous level of nature energy and you can bet there's a part of him looking to get back to being able to draw on nature energy on that level but right now due to the limitations on his body he's going to need the chakra in order to balance out that much nature energy which means he's going to have to undergo some intense training to raise his chakra levels if that is indeed his goal. The idea of Naruto doing more than taking advantage of time standing still in this area to do more than just have a shadow clone gangbang with Hinata knowing full well she can't get pregnant since time has stopped here that's something naruto is likely going to take advantage of because it's a cheat code for training naruto is someone with mastery of all five changes in chakra nature but very sneakily his own son has begun to catch up to him with the number of Rasengan variations that he has created. Time no longer moves in his place that Naruto's been sealed away in, so he has a chance to start applying other changing chakra natures to the Rasengan itself, and he has the ability to start testing him out. He has Shadow Clones to speed up the process now, allowing him to get years of training in in only a short period of time. We've seen a lightning release with Singon with Boruto's vanish with Singon. We've seen Boruto make a superior wind with Singon that can actually be thrown when you compare it to Naruto's wind with Singon, which that is different than the Rasen Shuriken. Naruto has two wind release with Singons. However, we haven't seen a fire release with Singon yet. One of the most destructive changes in chakra nature being added to a Rasengan that could be something crazy. We haven't seen a water release or earth release for Rasengan either. There are a ton of possibilities with each chakra nature being added to the Rasengan. Now it's time to start testing them out. Naruto before getting sealed away got a harsh reality check, something that no man really wants to go through. He wasn't mentally strong enough to stop his son when Momoshiki took over. He wasn't physically strong enough to stop Kawaki when he openly told him sit down at his own table and proceeded to say he was going to kill Naruto's son and most of all he was unable to protect his wife. Even after telling Kawaki with empty words that Kawaki would have to kill Naruto before he killed Boruto. Naruto as a 33 year old man has had his pride wounded in a way that makes him dangerous. He went from having no family to now being unable to protect the family that he's created for someone who started with nothing to be put in a position where they can lose the very thing that they've always longed to have makes Naruto extremely dangerous right now. That being said, it bears restating for the 101st time. I don't think we're going to see Naruto come out of there, out that time space with the power level that has him immediately going to the top dog status, but instead I think that he's going to be strong enough to serve a support role similar to Edo Tensei Hokage did, where they briefly held things down before the fights scaled up to a point where they really couldn't offer much besides minor support unless they had some type of a hacks jutsu like Minato when he helped Guy against Jubi Mata by using his flying Raijin. Now, on the other side, there's the possibility that with time stopping still, Naruto might literally just be floating in that other dimension, unable to move. We literally don't know how things work in that dimension. When Jigen transported Naruto, he did so using Ishiki's Karma Seal. That in itself makes this different from what Kawaki did. When 
Kawaki sealed away Naruto, he did not use Karma. He only used his Dojutsu at that time. Karma was not active, he was not pointing his hand at Naruto, which was done on purpose because if this would have been the Karma, there would have been the off chance that Boruto's Karma might have found a way to Naruto's location, likely due to Boruto and Kawaki's Karma having such a strong resonant. But regardless, we have no idea how this time space itself works outside of what Kawaki told us. If time doesn't pass there, but Naruto can't move because time doesn't pass, or Naruto is able to move freely in that other dimension, but things like time don't actually matter there. Depending on the answer, that might explain what happens with Naruto, but it's still a fun discussion that I've been seeing you guys have in the comment section over the last two months, and I want to weigh in with my thoughts on a video, because I think the comment section is going to be filled with some pretty fun responses, which is what I want to know from you guys, which outcome do you guys think is most likely while you think that over? Click here to watch my How Strong is Kanroji video over on Kryptonian Saiyan.